Hi everyone. Today I'm going to go through the built-in self-test for the Zinc Ultrascale Plus RFSOC ZCU111 Evaluation Kit. The instructions can be found in this Quick Start Guide document which comes in the box with the board. So the first thing I'm going to do is set my boot mode switches to the correct position. As you can see here, um, the dip switches are set to all zeros, but we want to set it to QSPY boot mode where position number two is set to one. These are really small switches, so I find it's helpful to use um, the tip of a pencil. Now all of this is done with the board turned off and uh, I have not yet plugged in the power. So the next thing I'm going to do is connect the power with the board in the off position. So that's the power switch here, making sure that it's off. So now I can turn on the board and everything is coming up. So we can take a look at the power good LEDs over here and um, everything is lit. So that's a good sign. Um, oh, except for, it's hard to see on the camera. So number uh, 25 here is not lit, and that is expected because we don't have anything connected to our FMC slots, and so um, that is according to the instructions here, the LED that is supposed to be off. And then we also want to check the init B and done LEDs which are over on this side. And those look good as well. So that tells us that the Zinc Ultrascale Plus device has configured successfully. So the next thing we're gonna do is initialize the configuration. Um, so the BIS probably has already started um, since it starts shortly after power on, but we can um, reset the device and then get the BIS to restart. So we'll do that with the PORB switch, which is over on this side of the board here. see that the um, init B LED turned red momentarily and now it's back to green. So we see that the LEDs are lighting up as different tests are passing and then um, it starts flashing to indicate to us that we need to do the dip switch test. So, um, according to the instructions, we want all of the dip switches to be in the up position um, towards the label on and then back. So the label on is right there. And so we'll move all of them And then back. So now we see that on the test LEDs that 
The second last one has stopped blinking, so that passed, and now it's the push button switch test that needs to be done. So I just need to push all of these push buttons here. And we see that the test has passed.